Hi, right, it's David here with Day Trader Today as well as Futures Trading. I want to welcome all of you who are new to the channel. If you're coming into Futures Trading and you're new, you stop by the channel and you're new. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming on board. I had an opportunity to converse with one of the community members on yesterday, Jimmy. He's a really awesome person. He joined the community and just really great guy. Glad that he interacted with me about this topic because it actually it actually reminded me that this need to be discussed as well. And so hopefully what I'll share here visually with you, as well as, you know, communicating it here this way, I want to make sure that when you look at the, I guess, the community at large, when it comes to trading, that you see yourself and see what happens with trading. Because a lot of the educators that's online, even myself, uh, we're responsible, I think, for what it is that you're doing. Okay, so if you're listening to us, we're partially responsible, I'll say it that way. If we're not telling you what's pertinent, what you really need to know, your results is kind of our, our fault. And so I, I want to be one to acknowledge that. You know, I don't hear, of course, uh, many people willing to acknowledge where it is that they administered advice and it didn't pan out and they doubling back and saying, hey, I, I got it wrong. I want to tell you guys what I, I've come to notice in my time of trading and share it with you and as I've done thus far. And hopefully you'll see that the mind can become a dilemma for you. OK, the mind, the mind is there to discover and amongst other things. But that's what it does. It discovers information and it does quite a few different things. It does. But here's the thing when it comes to learning information and it can be a problem. That's why I say it can be a dilemma because there's a lot of information online. I don't want you to be inundated with the information. I want you to be able to see clearly what it is that's being presented to you here with Futures Trading as well as Day Trader Today. I'm trying to offer content that can remove the confusion. I want to offer you what's universal. Okay, so universal, you know, universals are repeatable or reoccurring entities that can be instantiated or exemplified by many particular things, all right? So I wanna make sure that you understand if you don't get that part, it's applicable to all cases, all right? So I wanna give you guys an opportunity to see trading in a very simple way. It's a function of how it works. But we're going to take a look at the information that I provided the community yesterday briefly, and then we're going to dive into uh, the rest of the information. Jimmy and I, we discussed the education side of it and the different, you know, methods or approaches to markets. And, and I want to share with others because there may be some of you who are, again, having a dilemma with the mind, you know, because that's what the mind wants to do. It wants to learn. And so... You may know enough that you can stop learning. You can go ahead and just go with what it is that you know. And as long as you land over the majority, more than 50%, then you should be fine. And I wholeheartedly believe that. Now, if you're visiting the channel for the first time here on Future Trading, I do have a private community that uh, I disclose a, a little bit more information. I do uh, for those that, that, you know, of course, want to learn it. There's a cost associated with it. You would be availed my uh, indicator suite that can work on Ninja Traders free platform. But the access to the community is 200 bucks. So if you and it's a one time thing, it's no revolving cost. I don't want no kind of dependency there. I don't want you to have to depend on me because I'm trying to teach you for free, really, how to just go about trading. Um, but the community, yes, is more content in there. And I do occasionally provide targets of where I believe the market will go as potential areas where you can buy and sell it. But it, again, I'm not an alert service. I'm just doing something that I enjoy and it's like a library here. All right. So, but if you want to be a part of it, it's there, you don't need it. All right. I just want to say that to you. Now, you guys here, we read those wicks yesterday in real time. And if you haven't done so already, please take a look at the video. I went over that and showed you where the stop need to be at when dealing with wicks. All right. Really, really important stuff. But right here, now I know uh, I had actually put it here first, and that's why so many views on this one here. I was trying to start, start it over here, but then we had to go back. 
But there are so many views here. And in this video, I gave you a potential zone. Should they should they have gotten past the first one I gave you, which they, they ended up stopping because I, I told you I didn't think that they needed to pass that one. But there was another one down below, and I don't believe we should have gotten there then. And unfortunately, that's, you'll see. All right, so here on Futures Trading, I actually gave you guys that opportunity as well. Just a little late, you know, again, I put this out on the 18th, right? And I came back here uh, just a day ago, and I told you that's possibly where we're headed. And here, no one shared it. No one hit the like button and tried to give it away, try to give the content away. It's not about me. I want to help somebody else. That's the most important part. All right, so I want to say that. So I'm here to help you. So with the mind trying to discover all the time, I mean, that's just what it does. It just wants to discover. It can be a dilemma for you guys, a dilemma. And there's a lot of information online. And again, partially the fault is those that's telling you this content, but not delivering, you know, a substantial amount of information that you can kind of just, you know, survive without needing to learn a lot more. Now, that's that zone uh, that I put out on the 18th. Uh, again, that that uh, that information I gave you guys on yesterday, I told you I wasn't going to provide any more zones to buy or sell from. But I did tell you that I told you, and this right here, price won't get above this bar here if they plan, if they're going to go down. All right, now it managed to trade just above it. And again, if I was providing zones, I would have absolutely been able to tell you where to put that stop with that information. And there's your decline. Now, I did tell you on yesterday as well, be sure to start using your market analyzer that came with your indicators so you'll know where the daily threshold would be at. All right. And so there's the threshold uh, from yesterday. Here it is. And they pull right into it. And there's the decline to that potential target. And again, I gave this here. Well, it was a buy zone should they have broken down then, but they, they didn't want to do that. And I'm I'm, again, hoping that you guys know because I told you in the video that they're headed here. I didn't tell you they'll turn because the goal was to capture if they would have got past that first zone. I told you when they, you know, traded away from that for about three or four days, if they would have broke past that, they would have landed here, but they, they went on and went up. So they accomplished what they need to do. And now I didn't anticipate that they, they would uh, turn here. I didn't, but I knew that they were headed here. That's the most important part. But here's the, threshold from today uh there's that that bar and they went just a couple of ticks above it and bang there's that drop again i told you that in yesterday's video in the private community i told you guys that you can go back and take a look i told you that in that video there i told you that they were absolutely if they're going to head down that that's what would happen they would turn from that area there now here on futures trading is right in my header publicly dated verified okay publicly date verified uh, pretty much everything that I put online, I, I make sure there's a date attached to it and, and and there's a record there so you can keep track of it as well. So you'll know for yourself. All you have to do is go back and take a look. Now, what I try to do is teach people how to read markets when it comes to information, because that's all the market is. It's just providing you information and you need to know how to read it. You can read this. I won't read it to you. But any author, publisher, for that matter, they're going to of course, give you information that starts with a title or topic. And then of course, to the last remarks or closing statements or whatever, they're going to make you aware of what the whole encounter was about. And the chart offers you the same. And here's what it looks like. It's really simple. I'm going to be honest with you. And I'm trying to disclose to you universal concepts, things that are applicable, no matter what the circumstance is. And we're going to just take a brief look at how that works. This right here is reiteration all day long. That's that's how it works. This is majority, which is the fundamental truth of how all charts work, no matter what the chart type. And we're going to take a look at the various different chart types. And you're going to see that this principle is in every last one of them. All right. So the majority of this run is falling beneath that low. The majority of this run is getting above that high. Every run price run is a bar. It's just that simple. All right. So I'm responsible as the educator to try to tell you what it is that makes sense. All right. Now, if we're going to go down, because it looks like there is a potential trend there, even though it's it's mostly up, eh, this is the rules for down. If we're going to go up, here's your rules for the up. We just want seven bars higher, seven bars lower. And then we want that mid to fall beneath that low, fall beneath that low and should price. Now, if we're going to go down, 
Should price want to pull back into your bar before resuming? Should price want to pull back into your bar before resuming? It should come right into here and then go again. When it comes to the chart scale, you can always look in front of you because in this bezel, okay, the market will have to turn. So you don't have to look left. You really don't. All right, so right inside this bezel, the market will turn, okay? From top to bottom, the market will turn. They pulled up to the zone and they're trying to push down. You don't have to look left, you really don't. I wanna make sure I say that to you. All right, so that's the first thing. Well, a couple things that I wanna tell you about what's universal, all right? So what's universal is just that. Now, let's see if they'll turn back around, maybe not. Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe they don't wanna drive anymore. Again, they're still above the center of the chart. Now, this is universal too, because no matter which which uh time frame i go to let's go to a 15 second let's do this on the second chart no matter what time i go time frame i go uh to uh whatever chart chart type it's always in front of us all right so it's always going to turn near uh where it should now for those that's in the private community you guys have a different chart scale uh, that i provided you that has a little bit more information on it to make it easier <laughs> so you can utilize that. Now, here we have a downtrend. I'll just take a brief assessment on it. We're going to do the small time frame, just for brevity's sake. One, two, three, four, five, six, and that's seven. Okay, well, they already went the distance of this, all right? So if they're going to lift up, let's say if they're going to lift up, you know, they, they can, and they want to go back down, it'll look the same. It should look the same, if not a bit more. But if they're headed up, what we're trying to do is get seven bars higher. So we got one, two three, that's four. Can we get three more? All closing higher. Uh, in small time frames, it's easy to get uh, seven bullish bars closing higher or lower for that matter. But in higher time frames, such as a one minute or higher, you may not get as frequent uh, trends showing up. May not. So what's universal is how the trend is being developed. And it's not codependent upon any kind of indicators, any kind of jargon or rhetoric that's online uh telling you you know these different requirements it's the market's movement and the market alone and so the universal concept is being played out from various different uh, standpoints here the center of the chart if they're going to stay bullish they're going to stay in the upper part of the chart and right here uh you can see that they're trying to make the seven bars close and higher so they have a potential uptrend forming on the board so we got one two three four five six and this should be seven that they plan to form right about let's say here right about there they should close the bar right about there all right so now what yep so now what we're going to do is we're going to project this forward okay we're going to project that forward and that's where they should be this is a 15 second chart now let's leave that there and let's come to our range chart. Again, I'm just trying to show you what's universal, what's applicable to all cases. All right, so here we have the range chart. This is a 15 range chart. And so what we do is we'll do the same thing. Okay, they're still above the upper part of the chart. So you got one, two, three. Well, let's say three here, because that's close higher, four, five, six, and that's seven. All right, so now we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Give or take, give or take. It's not picture perfect, but give or take. That'll put them right here. Okay, so now let's do this. Don't want to be before you long, but I want to help you guys remove the dilemma when it comes to education. What you will want to do is learn function. Function is important, far more significant than different methodologies. Uh, you can go with oscillators support and resistance tools you can do all of that stuff if you prefer but at the end of the day as i comb through each one of these charts you're seeing that those green bars and red bars are located on every chart because that's the majority principle and so that's what you will want to learn you will want to learn what's majority what is the majority principle it's like gravity 70 pounds 700 pounds it's still going to work, okay? You can't fix someone a meal without the food. And so the food is necessary, and so is the trend, so is the, you know, the bar pattern that's going to get it from point A to point B, and even how far it can retrace in the bar before it gets there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and that's seven, okay? So we go seven here. And so now we've combed through 
Okay, at least three. Yeah, that's pretty much grabbing all of that. So let's just see how all of that plays out. Now I'm gonna come back to the 15 second chart. Let's go back there and see if they want to stay up. Now there's a trend above us clearly. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so there's a trend above us that's here. Okay, now if they want to go down, we'll just take what's universal. And I want to do this in front of you guys so you'll always know that what I'm promoting online is very simple. It's not complicated. That's not that's not that's not the goal. The goal is not to complicate trading and add a lot of stuff to it. That's just completely unnecessary. Let's go with what's I don't know what's universal. What can be found in all cases? What can be found? The market is a fluid event. I want to say that to you. It is a fluid event, so it can change. It can change, but dynamically, if you systematically approach the market based on the available truths, what's the available truth? The market is always trending. It's always trending. Every bar is a trend. So if you wanted to go with every bar as a trend, you would definitely want to use this information, okay? Because there's a level of a surety here at this point, if the mid of this bar can get above this bar's high, there's a there's a chance that it would probably go again. It's a chance. It's a chance that it'll probably go again. So once you get one bar, half of this bar jumping above this bar, you should be guaranteed the rest of the bar and then get some more movement. Because at that point, what's happening? What is happening at that point? You're trending and making trend distance. So it should at least go one more time and that's why i tell everyone what's on your mind when it comes to what's the end result is already present in the thought okay it's already presently on your mind and so when you're working with the market's activity if it's going to trend it should trend at least one more time now you got to be careful and i'll tell anyone this don't get in too late because once it reached destiny it may turn around it just depends on how far it planned to go that's all so just try to keep that in mind now when it comes to the universal threshold oh man i didn't really mean to get rid of all of my stuff oh, i didn't mean to do that we can put it all back it's not a problem so one two three four five six that's seven that's the center of that trend don't worry we can put it all back it's really simple that's what's universal <laughs> one two three four five six that's seven Okay, so we'll just put it right back really quickly here. That's what's uh, universal is no problem. You can always put it back because it's always relative. All right, so now let's go back to our 300. Uh, what is this? Which one is 15 second? Yeah, it's 15 seconds. Let's go to our 15 range. And we're going to put all of that back. It doesn't, take, uh, it doesn't take a lot to trade. It don't. All right, so here we had, come on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, that's seven. Okay, we're going to put this back just really quickly here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's right there. Now let's go to our volume. Okay, I want to make sure that trading is simple to each and every one of you that definitely is uh, coming to Futures Trading Channel. I want to make sure that it's simple. And should you want to join me in the private community, you're more than welcome. Again, we're covering a lot more than um, what's on future trading. We're covering a lot more, and I actually put out information, uh, given that there, there's you know places the market would be one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's seven. And I try to do it in a manner in which you can kind of plan out your your day. That's that's important too, where you don't have to fight with the market. All right, don't want no one fighting to uh, get this to work you don't have to now please pay attention to the chart scale all right give or take we're just going to put this back here okay now this is how far it's saying that the market will go now just in case i make that mistake again <laughs> let's take it lock this all right all right let's just lock that all right all right just in case i make that mistake again all right so this is where they're potentially headed all right now Again, they had a downtrend on the board, but they're, that's not there anymore. Now, let's go back to our 15 second. I want to make sure we're on here, too. I want to make sure that we're on here, too. Now, again, this is the potential center of the downtrend. And should they not want to stay up, guess what? They'll, they won't break that downtrend, and they'll come back down. Now, let's get the center of this uptrend, which will probably be roughly they're passing it right now. But give or take right here. We'll put this here. They're passing it. 
Okay, and then again, if they don't want to go up, there's the center of that downtrend. The goal of me showing you this is this. Don't allow your mind, I'm sorry, don't allow your mind to give you another dilemma. Because trading can be simple. The mind can make it complicated by wanting to learn so much. Okay. But the goal is, and let's go, I said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The, they pretty much already done this. The goal is to get just enough information present. Okay, so they lift it up. So let's do this again. Get enough information present that you can trade, you know, without confusion. All right, so if they're going to break the low, they're going to come down to here. Okay, so they're going to come right here. And that's the whole point of me sharing this information with you is to make sure that you know that trading is not hard. And again, who's responsible for the confusion? I'm not going to blame you. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. And if you're new to trading, you, you don't know if you're new. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, yeah, so seven here. Okay, they pretty much done this, but what we're going to do, we're going to go here, and that'll pretty much land them in the same spot, okay? That'll land them in the same spot. You're not all to blame for why you're having difficulty with trading. You're not all to blame. If you've been listening to anyone, and I tell people all the time, a mentor, a mentor, I want to say this, is supposed to give help and advice. The problem with advice is that if it cancels out the help, then that person cannot be a mentor. Okay, I want to say that to you. I'm going to say it one more time. A mentor gives help and advice. If the advice cancels out the help, then that person cannot be a mentor, at least not to you. One, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven here. OK, so I want to make sure that you understand who you need to, uh, you know, consider uh, teaching you content and who you may need to stay away from. This is a, a completely uh, saturated industry with a lot of information. OK, now, do you need all of that information? No, you don't need all of that information. Quite, quite the opposite. No. Now, let's just lock this here because I don't want to I don't want to uh, lose that. All right, so that's that's what we got here. Now, did they break our uptrend yet? No, no, they didn't, but they, they can if they, they decide to, or they can go right back up. Now, see, this is the hard part that most of you have been dealing with. I know that I've gotten at least a couple questions about this one. <laughs> when two trends are on the board, okay? And you guys in the private community, I did make really uh, make mention of what's important and where it should happen at, okay? where it should happen at and what's important, okay? And that's what you'll want to pay attention to, to the people in the new community. Where it should happen at and what's really important. Now, I want you guys to just look at the chart scale here. Please look at the chart scale. Now, notice where it's cycling, okay? Notice where it's cycling. It's cycling from the center of the trend upward, and we're on a 300 volume right now. I've been rotating in between to give you this experience where we're using different charts because some people say, hey, I like volume charts because of this. Some people say, I like range charts because of this. Some people say, hey, I like the second ones. And, you know, hey, I like the minute ones. And so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the, the time frame. If you notice, I'm rotating between all of these different chart types using rules. The rules that's going to be on every chart. On every chart, I, 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 I absolutely encourage you, if you will, to go to your chart and any chart for that matter. You can pick an hourly, a daily. You can pick whatever chart type you want. Matter of fact, I'll do you one. Here we go. Let's get us a chart type here. Let's get us a chart type. Here we go. Let's go grab one so you can absolutely see what I mean. Now, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what, what, uh, what time frame you're using, it doesn't matter. We're going to come back to that. I'm just open up this. It does take a moment. Give me a second. This is to help any and every last one of you, any and every last one of you who are having trouble with trading. I want to make it simple for you. Uh, clearly, we have a downtrend here on the hourly. There's a downtrend on this 15 minute chart. There's an uptrend on this one minute chart. It, well, it may not be one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. No, actually, it's a downtrend here. Okay. Now, again, I'm putting this all in front of you guys. Seven. I think that's seven right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, yeah, that's seven. So, they can go the distance of the seven, which puts them right into the back of this, uh, this supposed uh, the, the up, the up that they're trying to go with. Now, what would make them lift up? Okay. Now, what would make them lift up? Let's bring the universal concept in here. Okay. So we got a center of our chart. We got the upper portion of our chart here. Okay. And then we got the lower portion of our chart. So what's causing them to do this? And again, I don't have to look left. I come in here. Yeah, we got an uptrend here. You can go back and look at your charts and see if this will work, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven. So we got seven here. Okay, so we'll put it over here. I'm counting again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, seven. So that's saying that they can get here. But what would be the problem? Okay, what would be the problem, people? What would be the problem? All right. Now they're not too far away from the lower half of the chart, and this is a five minute. What would be the problem? What would be the problem? All right, so now let's go back to our object. I want you guys to go back and take a look at what I just showed you. All right, so here you saw they got uh, cyclical and they turned back down. Now, this is our volume. Let's go back to our 15 second. I'm not going to hold you much longer. I'm not. I just want to see. I just want to see, are we going to break this uptrend and end up here? Okay, that's a 15 second chart. Let's go to our range chart. We're going to do our 15 second range chart. Trading does not have to be difficult. Okay, so now they ran, they ran up clearly and they turned uh, back around. They still haven't broken our downtrend. Now, the response that it's giving, let's just examine that. Okay, so here's a response off the threshold. Okay, now notice where the bars are not closing. This is the threshold of this turn. OK, this is a threshold of this turn. Notice where it's not closing. All right. Now, let me, let me just take that off. But I want you to go back and take a look at the universal threshold because it happens on every every chart, every chart. I promise you it's happening on every chart. Here it is. Here's the universal threshold here. OK, notice where they're not closing. OK, that, but they're they're hitting it, but they're not closing. Now, here's the center of the chart. This is our 15 second. They can possibly go ahead and, and come back through here. Let's see. Let's see if that's at all possible. So now when it comes to all of the information online, I just want to say this to you. You have to evaluate who you're learning from. OK, again, I'm an educator and trader. I've been doing this for a very, very long time. When it comes to trading markets, you do not want to up your risk, okay? So, uh, you know, again, a lot of people are, you know, pursuing information such as this, okay? Gaps between bars, three bars, let it come back and then go that way. You don't have to do that. There's going to be a gap everywhere for that matter. I want to make sure I say that to you too. Wherever the no touch, no close, that's what I call it, the DTT, no touch, no close. And I've been trading this method long before ICT was ever online. Okay, I want to make sure you, you understand that. I'm just that old. Wherever there's a gap, see, now there's another gap here. I want to touch on all of this. So all of the information that's online, well, they went back and, and came back through there. Okay, but look at where they're hit, hit, hitting right now. The lower... Uh, portion of the chart they tried to respond they still beneath the center of here so they can go now let's let's drag this over here here's the threshold if they're going to hit it and go back down that's what you what you got now let's look at this threshold here because they can respond at this threshold as well okay what i want you to know is that chasing this chasing this is a problem okay mainly because it's requiring too much risk okay and you're trading against the overall objective of the market at the moment. So it's not to say that it can't make you profitable. Yes, it can. It can, uh, given that the market wants to head in that direction that you're trying to go in. You see, and that's that's the most important part. So when it works, I want you to go back to your chart. When that that particular aspect of trading work or anybody's information, I don't care what educator you're following, when their stuff work, this is universal what I'm sharing with you. I'm pretty certain, 
I'm certain. Why don't you bypass? You you should just do yourself a courtesy and bypass a lot of rules, a lot of requirements, and learn the function. What is the function that makes it work? When you learn the function, you save time because we don't have an infinite amount of time to live our lives. We don't have that. And so what happens is you get an opportunity to interact with the experience, because remember, I told you that's what the mind wants. The mind wants to experience life. It wants to experience it. But at the expense of what? At the expense of what? Time. Okay. At the expense of what? Time. Something that we don't have a great deal of. I want to say that to you guys. So if you're new coming to the channel, take in the information. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. So yeah, I want you to just consider how much time you could possibly be wasting pursuing a lot of different information online when the relative components that's involved in all trades, okay? I said it here and I meant it, okay? Here it is. If you win, it's this. 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 There's another universal approach that I, I actually teach people. This is what I'm willing to tell you guys for free. That's absolutely simple. It's not complicated. And you can save your time because you don't have time. is an allotted portion at your disposal suitable for a purpose. You do not have time to waste trying to pursue so many different aspects of entering a position when you can just take the shortcut and learn what makes for all trades what makes for all winning trades what can make for all losing trades and see when you learn universal concepts you can understand both outcomes you can comprehend that it's possible you can know with a high degree of accuracy when it will fail before it even gets to your stop you'll know it you can absolutely know it if you discover what's universal. I encourage each and every one of you, stop running around online trying to learn everybody's information, not even mine's, not even mine's. You may have come into contact with some information that could make you profitable and you just not, you know, sticking with that, just stick with it. You don't have to learn anything new. If you can get Whatever it is that you've learned prior to showing yourself, you know, showing up here, if you can implement what it is that you've learned prior to encountering my content, I strongly suggest to you, all you need to do is accomplish more than half, more than 50%, which is majority. You just need to accomplish more than half to be profitable. And taking a small bites, $99.21 a day is $25,000 a year. So try to slow trading down. Don't make this stuff more complicated than what it has to be. To my community, I do appreciate all of you who have joined me in the new community. I appreciate you guys being there again. That's the goal is to try to provide you guys with an experience, all right? With an experience that's, again, is beyond, you know, what I'm disclosing for free. It's, it's, it's beyond that. I'm giving you guys a little bit more information to go with. And of course, telling you what's, you know, what's likely, you know, what can they possibly do in relation to this or that? Okay. And again, we put this down here on the 18th. All right. So go back and you'll absolutely see me mark that zone. All right. So that's all I wanted to tell you guys again, based on a conversation I had one of the uh, fellow uh, community members there on yesterday. And he just, again, reminded me that there yet is another problem out here when it comes to information, don't allow your mind to become the dilemma. Trading will already give you, you know, it's, it's I guess it's adverse effects. It will affect you in some kind of way psychologically. 
now I just want to make sure that what I tell you, you can readily pull up a chart and spot it and make sure that it's universal. And I wish you all the best with your trading. Take care.